We are Growing Up Without Borders, a family of five on a mission to visit every country in the world. Back in January 2020, we had the privilege of visiting the country of Sri Lanka. And in this video, we discovered the whole area of Waligama, all its beautiful beaches and an amazing resort called Tabula Rasa, which is located just above Talpe. Many people told us that we could not visit Sri Lanka without seeing the beautiful beaches and checking out the local surf. And that is exactly what we plan to do for our next day. So we just went up, up, up that road and I believe we're gonna have a really nice view. So fresh, it's um, watermelon juice. So the girls are staying in this bungalow. They have these little kind of deluxe rooms and let me show you what our bungalow is like right over here. This is their spot. They all have the most amazing view of the ocean. You'll see. So this is their room here. You get this beautiful room. It's like a little chalet kind of roof style. A beautiful bed. And they have this like nice lounging area here, which will be nice. A desk with the most amazing view. I'm so looking forward to getting some stuff down here. They all have internet too. And then wait till you see this. When you go outside, guys, look at this. It's absolutely gorgeous. There's loads and loads of sitting space. So you can sit right here, like there. Or you can sit over here. Or if you want, you can sit right here. We will even see monkeys. I think I see one or hear one at least. Just jumped over and uh, loads of birds and everything like that. So just amazing. I'll quickly show you where the girls are staying for the next few nights. Hi. Hello. Hi. How are you? Good. You want to show me where you're staying? Sure. So this is our room. Looks just like our room. Ta-da. Except if you come over here, they made it into a bed. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. Who's sleeping there? Mm. Yeah, sure. Oh, it's beautiful, good. isn't it? Time to go to the pool. Let's go. here of travel are basically they make every single like hard difficult times that make it happen to be in these moments worth it because look at what I'm seeing it's just beautiful we'll look up to all the beautiful birds and animals making some sounds I feel like I'm in the nature with them technically we are so pretty Good morning from another beautiful day here in Sri Lanka. I'm gonna go have some nice breakfast with the girls and today we're gonna do something really fun. We're gonna go hit the beach, head up the waves and uh, check out the local areas where they have uh, just the most amazing surf, the ones we drove by yesterday. Sleeping here at Tabula, 
felt like being in one with the nature because you hear all the sounds and you're just literally in the middle of the jungle. like continental breakfast or they even have the Sri Lankan breakfast which is like string hoppers like you've seen maybe in our other videos and dal curry and such so you get either a local breakfast or like a traditional kind of what we're used to breakfast. So let me show you a quick tour of their spa here. I haven't seen it yet. It's so beautiful just the entrance alone. Oh wow look at this so you come out here they do the Ayurvedic massage with all the different oils and stuff. Beautiful massage table with this kind of view. So just outside the resort they have these little tuk tuks to bring you to the beach or wherever you need to go. Okay. Say hi to the shore. Now that we're done hitting up all those waves, we found this really cool rooftop restaurant to have a nice dinner. This is what it's like here, and it's overlooking the Indian Ocean. We are right now at a rooftop restaurant, and surfing was really fun today. Lots of people, really good waves. We're now we're all tired and we're about to get some yummy food. Nice healthy salad after a long day surfing. And the monopoly. So it's kind of like a hostel here. So they've got all these cool things. So you can step up on here and come and read a book, or you could put a book there and take one. Oh, it's like a net. It's time to hit the pool. 
Let me give you a quick explanation about where Tabula Rasa Resort is. So we are literally just above the city line and the ocean line, if you will, behind us. And about maybe 10, 15 minutes from Gaul. That's where the old fort of Gaul is. Beautiful area to discover if you're coming to this area. Um, check out our video on that. And then if you go towards the, let's see, east, about 20 minutes, you've got Waligama uh, Beach and some of the most beautiful surfing beaches here. And well, it is absolutely gorgeous as you see. We met the owner and she explained to us about basically how the whole project started. It's a fairly, well, brand new resort here in Sri Lanka and they've literally decided all the finishing touches. So everything you see here and around has been handpicked by them and uh, the style is just amazing as you've already seen. Next stop of the day is going to be towards the spa to go get a little R&R &R and some pampering. So that felt absolutely amazing. The guy giving me massage was like, had magical hands. And if ever you're coming to India or Sri Lanka, here is a spot where they do these most amazing massages with all the oils and stuff. They call it Ayurvedic massage and it has herbs and the smells are so nice and it's just heavenly. Uh, we decided to continue the pampering. I am now going to tint my eyelashes and do a facial mask. Chloe is having tonight pasta carbonara in Sri Lanka. I haven't eaten meat in a while, so this is gonna be really good. Mm, really good. All right, so as you just saw on that crazy bus ride, we just took the local bus to this beach town called Uwanatuna. So far things we're noticing is it's super touristy. We even have a French cafe here. And what's crazy is we just saw a 7-Eleven. I think we found a spot to eat down here. So this is what their beachfront looks like here. We found this really nice place to come and eat. Yeah, it looks like there are all these little places to sit and enjoy. Let's go check out their beach. It's really nice. So I'm eating something called kotu, and basically it's like their roti and they cut it up and they smush it up into little tiny pieces it's like this massive plate of food it's really good so it's one of the local foods here in Sri Lanka getting some fresh mangoes They didn't really do much here other than uh, go for a nice lunch and Tyler went for a massage. So we're trying to find him in this city or town. We've located him here at this little retreat and spa. We've checked out all the different spas in the area. I think this is the one he's at. Well, he wasn't at that one either. Hmm, this might be a challenge because I have his phone. didn't take us too long and we did end up finding Tyler. We're back on the bus. <laughs> A little bit crowded back here. And the door is right there. Open. It's an open door. <laughs> Super duper dangerous the way they crowd the buses and then the door is open and everyone's by the edge of it. Nicaragua. Oh, 
We met a couple when we were in Nicaragua a year ago and we right now are on our way to the beach to go meet with them here in Sri Lanka so it's really cool. This is a really neat setting because it feels like we're going through this kind of tropical forest to get to them. That's why they call it jungle beach because it's like you're in a jungle. boat that I just found. It is absolutely gorgeous. The boat went from like being so authentic to a Christmas tree looking with all these lights on it. What a great way to end our stay here in this area by meeting up with our friends that we met in Nicaragua. Thanks for watching our tour of Southern Sri Lanka and their beautiful beaches. Don't forget to subscribe as we'll take you to every country in the world. And make sure you comment down below where you're watching from. We'll see you next time. Bye! Bye.